In the name of you, demon, what have you done in her life? Speak out. <laughs> what did you cause? Pain. Pain. And what Pain. else? Rejection. Rejection. What else? Pain. How long have you been tormenting her body? No. How long have you been tormenting her body? Speak out. In the name of Jesus. What have you done to her marriage? What have you done to her marriage? Speak out, you demon. Division. 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 Jesus Christ is going to break every grip over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you spirit of rejection and division. In the name of Jesus, command you out of her body right now in Jesus' name. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Out! in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. You're leaving this body now. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for setting her free. Because of Christ, we declare you free in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Jesus, my teenage, Jesus, my teenage. What, ha what happened to you here? I was just praying. I was just praying that I needed help to come to. The demon has been tormenting your life, tormenting your marriage. The spirit of pain and rejection has been cast out. And Jesus Christ entered your life and brought you freedom. Wave your hands and thank you, Jesus. Wow. What a truly incredible deliverance. Why don't we take a little rewind and why don't you tell us how you first got saved and how you ended up coming to the church? Hi, my name is Anelga. Um, so I was raised Catholic. Um, I had a, my first encounter at the age of 14 with the Lord um, because a Christian friend from high school let me borrow a cassette where her pastor was preaching. So I played that at home, and the power of God met me there. And from there, since I was young and continuing Catholic, um, my dad passed away shortly after that. And years passed, my brother passed as well, both from suicide. Um, so after my brother's passing, God put questions in my mind of, okay, why am I still alive? What is my purpose here? Who is God? Because I know there was a God, but I didn't know him. So I wanted to know there was a hunger. And so I started seeking for him, started looking for him. Um, so he brought me to this church on a Wednesday night with uh, Isaiah Saldivar came last, last time. And this is where he started it all for me, basically. So what happened when you actually came to the service and then um, from there? Um, after that Wednesday, I continued to come every Wednesday after uh, with the youth. <laughs> And God started to pour in me. Um, Pastor uh, Sack prayed for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And so he, uh, you know, I went, I left everything and left. Um, and then weeks after that, I was look, watching a live from Pastor Blad, And he was praying for healing. So I'm there praying as well for everybody. And all of a sudden, I feel this heat on my hands. And all of a sudden, I felt like somebody touched my tongue. <laughs> and I started praying in my heavenly language. Um, for a second. <laughs> Amen. I hope that's just an encouragement to those who are watching, that distance is truly not a barrier for the presence of God, and He can reach you right where you are. So you're having this amazing experience with God. How did that end up happening? <laughs> <laughs> so my hunger for him, wanting to know 
my purpose, wanting to know more of him, um, growing closer to him brought me to um, Sylvia and Pastor um, Martin to home groups. And um, I, t- asked, I reached out to Sylvia because I wanted to go through deliverance. Um, and she met me here at church and God started uh, deliverance here. And she encouraged us in the group to come to this conference. Um, and I agree because I wanted to make sure that there was nothing in there left in lingering. Um, so I went and I started praying. <laughs> Next thing I know, I've um, already started delivering. Somebody takes me to the front. And that's where all that started. Continue. And during... Um I guess prior to you going to the Race to Deliver conference, were you experiencing any, I guess, symptoms, any of what that demon spoke out and said? Yeah. So from very little, I noticed, because I wasn't raised by my parents the first nine years of my life, there was a lot of rejection throughout my whole life. And division with my husband, it was constantly a battle the whole entire time. And I feel like God wanted to show me there that it was not me pushing him away that it, I was being controlled by something or some and so he wanted to show me that it wasn't me and that that's how good he is so he rebuilt that in that moment and how has life changed how has that um y- your relationship with your husband been since which well, much smoother I mean he's not safe yet but he's coming <laughs> I declare it. So I, I'm just enjoying more. I, when those enemies, my mindset come, I just rebuke them. I know that's not me anymore. So it's, it's been much, much better. Amen. And what is quickly one word of advice that you would give for anybody who's here or who is going to rewatch later? Okay. So notice that I told you I started seeking him, that I had a hunger for him. Because of that, he's been blessing me with so many things. That there's not enough time for me to share it. But there's one thing that he used, a, word, a scripture that he used for me through the whole process. And, it's, and I want to share it because I know it's going to bless you guys. You heard this before, but he has said, seek and you will find Knock on the door, and the door will be open. Ask, and you will receive. So and in his name, everything is given. You just got to f- search him, and don't give up. Don't give up. Amen. Let's give God some praise for that. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Wow, what a truly powerful story. I pray that was truly an encouragement to your spirit, that your, your faith was built, that God can do anything. And I pray that if you position yourself, this fast is a great opportunity for you to position yourself for God to do something powerful in your life.